So we're starting on workbook page 120. So numbers one through three say, write each percent as a decimal and as a mixed number or fraction in simplest form. So we have 320%. We wanna write this as a decimal and as a fraction. So the shortcut that we learned is to convert a decimal to a percent you move the decimal two places to the right. And then to convert a percent to a decimal, you move two places to the left. So 325% is a percent, so we'd have to move it two to the left to make it a decimal. So when we don't see the decimal point, it's always in the back of the number. So if I move it two to the left, I get 3.25 as my decimal. Then use the decimal to help you write your fraction. What you're gonna do is look at the place value. The three is a whole number, so that's gonna be your whole number. The 25 is in the hundredths place. So this is three and 25 hundredths. So that's how you would write it as a fraction. And then we need to simplify. So three and 25 over 100 simplifies to three and one fourth. Number two, 480%. We wanna write it as a decimal. Then we wanna write it as a fraction. So again, this is a percent. So percent to decimal, we move it to, to the left. So we get 4.80, but you don't need the extra zero in the back of the decimal. So your decimal is 4.8. Now you're gonna use that to help you write your fraction. So the four is the whole number. The eight is in the tenths place. So this is four and eight tenths. Then that simplifies to four and four fifths. Number three, we have 0.6%. So this is a percent. There's a decimal in it, but it's still a percent. So because it's a percent, we still have to move the decimal two to the left to get it to be a decimal. So we move it two to the left. Then you're gonna fill in the empty space with a zero. So you get 0 .006 after we move it two to the left. And if there's nothing in front of the decimal, you wanna add a zero there. So 0 0.006 is the decimal. So now we wanna use that to get our fraction. So this six is in the thousandths place. So as a fraction, oh, I put a P here, it should actually be an F for fraction. As a fraction, we would get six over a thousand because the six is in the thousands place. Then we could simplify this to three five hundredths. So the first thing we did was take the percent, move the decimal two to the left to get your decimal, then use place value to get your fraction and then simplify. For numbers four through six, the directions say write each mixed number or decimal as a percent. So now we want all of our answers to be percents. So what we can do is we want to make these into decimals because once they're into decimals, we can use the shortcut rule, which is moving the decimal two to the right when you have a decimal. So we have one and four fifths. So we're going to do First, we can make this into a decimal. So first, let's make this an improper fraction. So we multiply and add. So five times one is five, plus four is nine. Denominator stays the same. So once we have an improper, to make it into a decimal, you always can do numerator divided by denominator. So top number divided by bottom number, and that equals 1.8. Now that we made that fraction into a decimal, you move the decimal two places to the right to get a percent. Now we're going from a decimal to a percent. So we move it two to the right. 
So we get 180%. Okay, number five. Number five is already a decimal, so we basically skipped this whole step. So it's already a decimal, so all we have to do to make it a percent is move it to, to the right. So it's gonna end up right here. So that's 0 0.15%. It's a percent that has a decimal in it, but it's still a percent. Number six is already a decimal. So again, all we do is move it two to the right to make it a percent. So one, two, so 275%. Number seven, a manufacturing company finds that 0 0.0019 of the light bulbs it makes are defective write this as a percent. So this number is a decimal, we wanna get a percent. So again, decimal to percent is two to the right. So one, two. So it's gonna end up in front of the 19. So that's 0.19%.